Hey everybody, I'm Damien. Welcome back to Disturbing Creations. And today I got a twofer for you. Since there's two things that I want to get out of this trunk, we're going to get them both at the same time. Now, some of these cars come with this little button, which is a GP navigation system on these Audis, which is great. But since we're getting rid of the car, we're gonna go ahead and keep this system. Now, if there's something wrong with the antenna on yours, this is how you're gonna take it out so you can exchange it yourself and not have to go to the dealership and spend tons of money. Now, since we also gonna have this up, we're gonna take the locking mechanism and everything out of the bottom of the trunk as well. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on. So inside the trunk underneath, this is what the inside looks like, but first, there's a little piece. Now, this piece, this piece is in here with this. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to open this up. And there's two screws in here. You're going to undo those two screws. Under the handle here, there's two more screws. And then on the corner, you can barely see. I didn't even know. I ripped one by accident. I'll pull it down so you can see. There's a little screw right here with carpet on it that's kind of hidden. You just go ahead and take that out as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then your one screw over here, six, and then the rest of this will just pop off. And you want to try to keep this nice if you're keeping your car because you're going to have to put this back in with this piece to hold stuff with your little holder. So we're going to go ahead and keep this because it's really nice and try to sell it and recoup some money. But that's not what the video is about. The video is about getting out this navigation system and this locking system. So let's get a little work done. So the GPS uh, navigation antenna here is um, a 22 millimeter and I'm just taking it off with this regular uh, socket. So the, the nut and the bridge came off all together. And then this will just push up through. It's got glue on it, so you gotta kind of give it a little push. Now it is attached by a wire, and I'm gonna show you where that wire is right here. The wire is right here. And if you just pull some of this cushion away, the wire is just this little thing right here. Let's get a close up on that so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So the wire is this little cable wire right here and you can spin it or whatever, it just pulls apart like that. And then once you pull it apart, you can kind of try to feed it back through here. Just be easy with it because this is an antenna. Now it's not gonna come out that way. just take it out the top and then we back up so we just take it out the top from where we unbolted it so if your antenna is bad i mean this is a pretty easy one to do and then we're just going to put this piece back on so that um, if we sell this to someone or we reuse it we're going to go ahead and use it okay so this has a cut in the nut right here and this has a little tooth so you have to line them up together for it to go on and make sure it's on a certain way. And then you can start to screw it back in. And then we have the nut and everything and the cable. So that's this piece. And then we're gonna work on that locking system up there. So let me get a little bit more work done and we'll get right out to it. Okay, so under here for the locking mechanism and all this stuff right here you can disconnect this stuff really easy there's a 10 millimeter here that i took off already and then on the other side there's a 10 millimeter over here now if you take this 10 and this 10 off you don't have to disconnect this arm actuator arm right here if you take this off and this off as well and pull all this down as one unit now you will have to disconnect this one by just pulling it out and we're going to go ahead and do that in a second 
But if you just need to take this off, you could pop the actuating arm off here and leave the lock here. But since we're scrapping in the car, we're taking everything. So let me get these last three bolts off, disconnect, pull the sensor out here and here. And let's see kind of what we're working with here because I want to get the lock out as well because we took the um, ignition lock out. We have the key, we have the door lock. So if we get the trunk lock out, we'll have a full set of locks and this will save you money and build your confidence to change your locks in the future. So let's get some work done. So this is the piece on the back of the trunk. And if your lock is broke, like your locking mechanism, it doesn't lock or it stays locked or something, you can just take that little piece off and disconnect this, pop this up right here, pull this piece out, disconnect this off. And then you see, you could take it off with the two screws. You don't have to take off the whole piece. But since we were selling the trunk, um, it didn't need this. So then we have the rest of the piece here. Um, the piece has the arm, if you need to, if the arm breaks, it has a sensor that has two screws, you can take this sensor off, and there's a lock up in here, we already sold the lock mechanism, which sticks right here, and that sticks out through the trunk, so you can get to that piece as well, but I just want to show you what this whole piece comes like together, and of course, we always cut a piece of the wiring harness when we're getting rid of something, because if you're taking some of these off, or you're trying to pull the piece down the carpet or something and you grab this by accident and you rip some of these wires, well, then, you know, we have this to go on. So these are actually pieces of the wiring harness. We didn't want the whole harness, but we do want the connections that go to the pieces here, to the locking mechanisms here. So this does your, um, your fob to pop the trunk. You can pop uh, with the key. And then the, the lock that actually grabs the truck right here, you see it when I push it down, it actually goes down. So I hope this uh, uh, helps you out to figure out like, you know, my trunk doesn't work. I have to change the lock. Okay, I saw you pull the carpet down. I went in, I could just take this piece out, unpop it right here, pull this, pull this piece out with these two screws, that's it. If I don't need that, then I could just pop this, leave this screwed in. Pop this main piece out, take it out, work on it, change something that I need. Um, take this out and take the locking mechanism out here if you need to change the lock. If the lock is jammed up or, or solid or you broke the key off in it, you can do that as well. If you can't get the piece of the key back out. But thanks for coming to Disturbing Creations. Leave us a like and subscribe. Share this with one of your Audi people. I got about 40 videos in the chassis of this Audi A6. A lot of this stuff for Audi is the same. So make sure you watch the videos that say A4, A7, and A8, as well as the A6, because they're all the same. And we hope you have a great day.